Hey guys, David Essel here. This week, we're gonna spend uh, probably about four or five days talking about self-love, and there's gonna be a lot of questions here. You know, do we really love ourselves? Of course, if you ask the average man or woman on the street, they'd say, absolutely, we're gonna find out, okay? I'm so glad you're with us. This is gonna be example one of someone who, if they're not at the high level of profound self-love, that they're moving towards it, which is really what we want. You're tuned into David Essel's Daily Video Boost, your exclusive online video community here to lift your spirits, give you options and thoughts on how to move ahead in life, take notes. I'm, I'm, you know, if you've been a client of mine in the past, you know how crucial writing is. Every time I say this, I know it probably just like goes in one ear and out the other. If you're not taking notes, but please do. Do one thing today you don't wanna do. Okay, one thing today you don't. So here it is, step number one. If you want to proclaim that you truly love yourself at the deepest level possible, you have to be willing to release all dependencies and addictions. End of story. I could end it right now, but I want you to write this down. What am I dependent on? What am I addicted to? You know, it's one thing to have a couple, couple uh, cups of coffee a day. It's another to have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. right? That's called an addiction. It's one thing to have a glass of wine at night. It's another thing to have three, four, five, or six. It's one thing to have um, uh, uh, your favorite snack. You know, like after dinner, you have a favorite snack. And if that turns into seven days a week, we're probably going to run into problems. What's your dependency and or addiction? Do you come in after work or after a long day and all you want to do is sit and watch TV for three, four, five, six, seven hours? See, those are all examples that would go in the opposite direction of self-love. In our brand new book, Focus, 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 we have a whole chapter on profound love and part of it is profound self-love and we say it in there. If we aren't willing to release addictions and dependencies, now I didn't say heal today. Profound self-love would say that I am moving towards that example. I am moving towards releasing all addictions, dependencies, and it can be scary. Why is it that so many people, including myself, have dependencies and addictions? I had some serious ones for years because it's comfortable. It's scary to be without them. But the number one step to begin with in regards to loving ourselves more and possibly reaching profound self-love is to release all addictions and dependencies. Don't forget to let your friends and family know we are on the air for them as well. Get them to join the Daily Boost at TalkDavid.com. And as you're watching this, if you're saying, you know what? I have to have help here. Contact me. We will work together. Our work is 100% money back guaranteed. And if you haven't picked up the new book yet, pick it up. The profound love chapter will blow your mind in so many beautiful ways. I want for you the highest level of awakening, of achievement you can ever imagine. All of this is at talkdavid.com. Have a great day.